There is, there is no reason. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Jay Graham here with me this morning. We've got a tour of Marathon Coach 1266. We're kind of uh, laughing here because I am holding a fake piece of bread, which I will be putting down. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions while we're filming, uh, this is going to be a tour of brand new Marathon Coach 1266. It's an H3 double slide and it's absolutely beautiful. A lot of attention to detail on this coach. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to take us on this tour. My pleasure. Uh, so many of you have seen videos with Jay before, knows he's very thorough, and that's what we're in store for this morning. Not to put any pressure on him, but I'm going to get rid of the bread now, and we're going to head inside and check out 1266. After you, sir. All right, I guess we'll ignore the, the um, cockpit for right now. Let's talk about uh, kind of the floor plan first before we, let's get the lay of the land. Okay, this is our bunk, our bunk, one of our bunk floor plans. So it's got a couple of bunks in the midsection. It's got a unique uh, double door bathroom that allows the, kind of with the both doors open, allows a lot more space, but it also allows those doors to be cl closed and still provides access to the bedroom. A lot of plans, the bathroom, once you block it off to use as a bathroom, you can't get to the bedroom on this okay. one. Yeah, the, the doors close and you can still get back to the bedroom. So. I also like how you can also close the the door to the bat, the bedroom and the door from the um, galley. And so you can have a completely closed off hallway uh, for the people that are staying in the bunks. Yes. That's yes. excellent. So uh, starting with the flooring here, Oh, it's it's a. Uh, I love this tile. It is. It's a porcelain plank, uh, wood plank, porcelain tile, and it turned out beautiful. It's it really, really did. It's really got a nice feel to it. Heated flooring. Heated flooring. And it the I like how the flooring matches this colorway here on this cabinetry. Yes. And it's a good contrast against this. I mean, Brenda did a great job. It's got some nice darks and lights, and I really like the the cap. The uh, I think it's ebony cabinetry against the light walls. Uh, yeah, it's really neat. They do a great job of, of mixing up the look and getting you know each coach you have a different feel when you walk in. And uh, it really is a beautiful coach. Lots of good tones. Let's talk about the uh, sleeper sofa. Sleeper sofa, pretty much standard on a marathon. We like to provide the uh, the tip out storage bins, which work out pretty slick. So, put bedding or like if you were to use this as a sleeper sofa, you could put sheets and bedding back there. There's a lot of room on that. Pretty nice. Now this is custom made here at Marathon. It is. Oh, Our yeah. upholstery shop is extremely talented. We talk about them quite often, and so we're we love we love what they what they do. Well, what it does for us is it allows it allows the designers to come up with just about any design and we're in control of it so as customers have different ideas and options uh, we do quite a few different arm styles different upholstery styles we can do those as we go on the fly and don't have to rely on an outside shop to to do some of that work yeah so. it's not just a couch that we purchased and slapped in here this is custom for this coach exactly it's right on right on okay uh, we, Mickey and I were talking earlier about this, uh, really a neat sparkle up here. It is. They, uh, they come up with some really interesting materials to put, to put in the balances. And uh, this particular one's lighted, so there's a... Kind of a backlight? Yes. That's cool. And so it really sets off those sparkles on this particular one. Okay. Uh, they, they get to do some really interesting things with our window treatments. The, uh, the window styles are lighted, so that's a film. That's an actual film of a stone that we print here, and it's it's put on a uh, piece of acrylic, and then it's backlit. So oh, it's great. So it's an actual are, photograph. It is. It is. And w again, we're in control of that. We take the photos. We print the film. So if customers want to do anything different, or we see a really nice piece of stone, Alan had 
had been to Portland and saw some really interesting stones and had printed up had no some, kidding. some really high resolution images printed up to use on well they're also used in the ceiling panels oh they sure are so so the ceiling panels now these can be turned on or off correct yes so they can be lit or they can be completely turned off so you're going just with backlights or you can go just with your LEDs. And they're dimmable, so you can, if the panel, you want some just some accent maybe, uh, you can dim those down. So okay. yeah, in the evening you don't have to, or you can run them up on full bright and actually use them as task lighting. So gotcha. it's worked out really slow. Nice. With the, the LEDs, that, the uh, color changing LEDs that kind of go around everything, that's another marathon standard. And we've got it stopped on blue, but it'll cycle through, pretty much cycle through the rainbow. How many colors. different colors? Is it eight or? Well, I think it's a few million. When you look oh, at, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When yeah. you look at if you stopped at every exactly. know, every split second, it they <laughs> they they advertise it as you know millions of colors. Um, it's been great for us because it uh, we've had quite often someone might say I don't really prefer that color, so sure. It just hey, we'll just let it cycle around until you find a color that you do like. Something soft or something bright. Yeah, exactly. very nice. So let's talk about these chairs. These are the most comfortable chairs in the history of chairs. <laughs> they are, they've worked out really well for us. Um, this particular recliner has the, if you pull the lever, it's got the footrest that tucks up underneath so you don't have to have a separate stool. Oh, that's nice. There you go. That, the thing that's really nice about that is the stools, you know, the, the, the coaches are spacious with the slide room, but right. with the stool, you have to move the stool or find a place for the stool and these have been really popular because the the, foot, the leg wrist just stows up underneath the seat that's convenient and we we purchased the chair but we also re, reupholster it so they come with no upholstery and then we have the ability to so we purchased we purchased it as kind of like a skeleton it's pretty much <clears throat> if you just take the leather off that's what we get and gotcha. we will we will refinish the bases we faux paint the bases, we do a lot of different treatments to the bases, and then the upholstery gets redone in our upholstery shop. So again, things match perfectly because they're they're all done in-house. Yeah, it's very nice. I like how they all match and and there's a contrast between these and the cockpit chairs, but they but they are very similar and matching. Mickey, is there any <coughs> questions or comments? Well, we have comments. Nissan and Julie say hi, and uh, Julie says she loves her tour with you. Um, we do have someone who asks, what's the process for Marathon to change out the ceiling lighting panels? So the question was, and, and so Julie, how are you? Good, good, to, good to talk to you again through the live video. Thank you so much for coming and stopping and doing a tour here at Marathon. So for those of you who don't know, we do uh, tours every day at 11.30. And it's a free tour and it's a factory tour and it's incredibly, um, it's an incredible look at what Marathon does. You get to go through the cabinet shop, the paint shop, the laminate shop, get to see uh, a new shell if uh, we have a, a new shell uh, that's ready before it goes to paint. And you get to see new coaches, pre-owned coaches. So stop by anytime you want, uh, any day you want, 1130, Monday through Friday, for a marathon tour of our facility here in Coburg. So um, the question was about light panels. Uh, what was it again, Mickey? How do you, how, what's the process for Marathon to change out the ceiling light panels? The process for changing out the light panels. So <coughs> does that allude to maybe a remodel or? Probably there's a couple different things. Well, one of the things we do, and I'll just show really quick just one side. These panels are just fastened up with snap fasteners. So they come down really quickly. So for instance, somebody doesn't want they don't really care about the lights. Right. We pull that panel down, we put a upholster panel, we put some woven wood material, we put matching fabric here. Um, so in a very short amount of time, yes. we could change this We could, we could style. change out the colors, everything you see here, it could all be pulled out in under an hour and then taken up to the upholstery, they peel all the fabric off, rewrap it in a different material. Um, for a little more extreme that we've had happen in, in our service department, for example, is we've changed the entire ceiling design. Gotcha. So because these panels are all put up with snap fasteners, you snap them all off, you design new panels and bring them in and 
that go in place because this entire ceiling is all cut on our CNC router. Right. So it's all it's all we this we know the shapes, we know the the exact dimensions. The patterns are there. So we can just design new panels and put the fasteners on and snap them back up. That's into great. Place. That's a lot of flexibility. So as it is custom right now, you can even customize it depending on the person. Uh, that's that's wonderful. So we're uh, electric fireplace. Yes. All right. I that's like that. Standard on a, on the on these H three forty five floor plans and what's really been a great feature of the fireplace is it does have it's a heater. Yeah. Right. And, and so it without, puts out air, right? And there's kind of a spot here where we. Um, in the past didn't have heat so this has been really nice so right um, through this area right here yeah and it it'll really warm the coach <coughs> it's a it's a really nice and i like addition. this little backsplash here which is the same as this entry stairway and probably in the bathroom is that correct it well we can, uh, yeah I oh can, yeah I in the rear right there yes yeah, in the, the same half -bath? backsplash material it's on the risers of the entry steps and then, okay so kind of keeping a continuity throughout the coach Yes, they, from the front of the coach to here to the back. They do a great job of tying everything together. That's great. I like I like the fireplace. It has been really popular. A lot of customers. And um, you could turn off all the lights. It's it's. Ambiance. We just had a recent customer request it um, on an X X model, which we don't normally do because he just likes the glow in the evening of yeah, the fireplace. Yeah, that's so, really cool. Yeah. All right. So um, Samsung TVs throughout. 4K uh, feed, which we were watching Sully Sullenberg on 4K, oh. the Tom Hanks movie. Oh man, you can see the pores of Tom's face. <laughs> it's good stuff. Yeah. All right, so we are in the um, we're in the salon. Let's move into the galley. You know what? Before we do that, I think Mickey has um, a comment or a question. So we have a question. When the slide is in, does it hide the fireplace? It does hide the fireplace. Yes. So it comes over to about right here. It, the correct? slide room is 30 inches deep, so it comes in 30 inches. Yeah, it comes right about to where you, where you had your hands. So yeah, it does cover it when you are, uh, when the slide is in. Yes. Yes. All right. So let's move into the kitchen area or the galley. I love this. So I love how they detailed the countertops and the sink to be the same color. We, yeah, we manufacture the sink. So another thing that we like to be in control of so we can change the sink as, as we like. We do do, pre, you know, we, we buy metal sinks and different sinks, but in this particular one, sure, uh, we fabricated the sink. Insta-hot? Yes, insta-hot and cold. I like this, this is nice too. Um, Fisher Paykel or Fish, Paykel? Fisher, Fisher and Paykel is- Fisher is, and Paykel. We, we take the shortcut and leave the and out. Yes. But, uh, Fisher, Fisher and Paykel dish drawer. Now uh, a lot of people are using this not only to wash their dishes but for dish storage. Exactly. I it's, love that idea. It works idea. out great because with usually just two people, pull them out, have your meal, yep. put them back, wash them, and then leave them there for, for storage. And it's got a travel lock on it so when you're traveling it's going to be safe in here. It does. That's great. Mm -hmm. So one thing that we were noticing before we went live on Facebook this morning. And don't forget, you can also go to YouTube and watch our previous videos or this video later if you missed the beginning of it. We talk a lot in the <coughs> cabinet shop and the laminate shop about grain matching. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the best examples I've seen of grain matching. You've got this piece here, you've got this drawer here, and you've got the dish drawer here. And this here you can see how the grains of these fibers are running straight down. That's a lot of attention to detail. It is something that we have done for over 30 years. I mean, it's just, it's a marathon standard. And that's the nice thing about the laminate. It's a repeatable pattern. So if you were to do that a veneer, you can't grab another piece that's right. That's so it makes it, it makes it pretty challenging especially if you were to have some damage, um, we can replace that. Um, if something were to get damaged, have an exact grain match. And it's, it's just something that we think is important. And it really, if you see something that isn't grain matched, it really 
it really catches your eye after yes. you're used to looking at all all always grain mash. But yeah, we've been doing it for over 30 years, and the guys take a lot of pride in it. Well, and you know, you can go into a pre-owned marathon, and the laminates, <coughs> a 20-year-old coach, the laminates look beautiful. We were using uh, the best available laminates 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, cabinetry from 20 years ago in a marathon still looks in my opinion new today it doesn't fade and it still looks it, it, it's just a good product to use I love I love the use of it I also like now this is an engineered wood or an engineered leather excuse well, me that's kind of my term for it it's actually got 11 or 12 percent real cowhide in it okay um, again it comes in a roll so we, you know, rather than trying to use hides, uh, right. cow hides, it comes in a roll, so it allows us to, to really utilize the material, and, and it all ma always matches instead of, you know, different dye lots of different cow hides can be an issue. And Mike Perotti was saying that it's scratch proof. It's really, uh, Alan could tell you the, there's a rating. The scratch for, test? The, there's a rating <laughs> for scratches, and I, I a, a rub, like a, a rub rating or something like sure. that. And, and, uh, it has that, and for us, it works out really well because it also has a little bit of—it's not sticky, but things don't slide on it. Cause right. It's got a little—it's got a little tack to it. There and easy to clean. Mm -hmm. Easy to clean. This is this is really nice. I like the use of that fabric. And the engineered fabric, leather. The fabric has always been—it helps reduce the noise. You know, we have dishes, yes. and, and it just helps reduce noise. And that little bit of tackiness keeps things from sliding around. Very nice. Looking over here at the dinette. I, I like the use we this is a is this a marathon standard it is the motorized um, dinette moving but also the ease of you the ease of use with the pivot so you can get in and out easy or if you would like to have a buffet boom there you go you still got seating but you can also have a little bit more casual set up for your breakfast buffet if you have guests another thing is I like to move this all the way in because it adds extra dimension to this area for people to walk, stand, talk, or hang out, kind of like yes. I'm doing right now. Because it goes pretty far in and it gives us just that extra amount of space. Going to stop right about there. And then, just like a yacht, you've yeah. got storage back here. It's been storage that's fully laminated. So an area that's not even seen is grain matched and laminated back there with the laminate. It's just beautiful. It's got the engineered leather back there to keep it clean and safe. Clean and safe. It's the name of my new album <laughs> coming to stores soon. Well, it's important to, you know, to finish off those all those little details. Well, and that's a we talk about that a lot on Marathon Mondays is the attention to detail, um, the craftsmanship and uh, 1266 is a good example of that. The Before, guys, yeah, the guys take a lot of pride in it, and they they want the they want all the services to be as top notch as what as what you see just at first at first glance. For sure. So we have um, hello from Nissan in Jerusalem, and hey there, Nissan. From wow. Steve Eaton. Steve Eaton, right on. Good to, good for you guys watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't uh, hesitate to comment. Don't hesitate to ask questions as we're rolling through this tour. Uh, usually when we tour a coach, it goes a little bit longer than uh, most Marathon Mondays, and that's what we're going to do today. So if you have any questions as we're going along, uh, feel free to comment or email me at malw at marathoncoach.com. All right, Jay, so let's talk about this beautiful refrigerator. It's been a nice addition for us. Uh, it has double door French door style I like that and it's just it's been a really it's so great bright it's such a bright refrigerator they did a fantastic job when they designed it it, it uh, we had a little little storage area up bottle above storage that, that worked out pretty slick uh, and then we have uh, the, drawer, the freezer drawer and then it's got a built-in ice maker so it yeah so it's got different tiers to one drawer in a lot of refrigerators, the ice maker, this one, they did a great job. The ice maker is actually encased in this thin section between the upper and the lower sections. So it's in there and it just drops the cubes right into the tray. 
You'd appreciate this. And a little ice scoop. An ice scoop? Yes. You know, yeah. you don't want to get your hands all over No, the you ice. don't. And it's got its own little compartment. Yeah. That's attention to detail. <laughs> And then we want it to look like, we like our appliances to be hidden, so we want it to look like a piece of furniture. So we actually took, it's a single drawer, but we took it and made it look like, you know, you might think this is a wardrobe. Yes, or a, or a pantry. A, a pantry or a dresser or something like that. So um, it just, yeah, it all blends in and and uh, just kind of just looks like it belongs right on. So you got the burner, the cooktop burners here. You got the Advantium 120 speed cook, microwave and convection cooker. Yes, sir. Cooker, is that right? Cooker? Oven? Cooker. Oven. <laughs> there you go, that's better. It cooks. This is nice. This is a lot of room. I like these. Well, the pantry pullouts just work really well because you can put food, you can put linens, you can put whatever on them, and they pull out so you can get to them really easily. Dovetail bamboo. Dovetail bamboo. It's beautiful. And just like every the, we put the liner in there again so help with this sliding around and you know here here's an example of the attention to detail that we talk about the the liner is not just here but the liner is back there underneath the drawer to an area that's never exposed to an area that's never used we finish it off properly i like that well we have a in our QC, we have what's called raw wood, and they, they'll write up, they see raw wood. I'm always telling them to cook it, but that doesn't apply. <laughs> yeah, they, they cook the put, raw wood. They have to put fabric or, or laminate on it, and uh, so we want to make sure that, yeah, as you open up those covers, that the customer sees all finished surfaces. Very well, very well. Okay, so as Jay mentioned earlier, this is a bunk coach, and we have I love our floor plans for bunk coaches because nothing is missing and you know there there's still a washer dryer in this coach there's still a bath and a half in this coach and you get sleeping situation for two bunks so uh, take us through these bunks show us the features of this so the bunks are it's a bunk to wardrobe so we just had a recent customer who wants this floor plan but okay. they want they like the it's a six foot closet so uh they're going to keep the bunk down and use it as a closet and so gotcha. they'll only if they do happen to have their grandkids or something they can they can take their clothes out run the bunks up but when they are bunks they've got motorized privacy shades they've got these ipads that flip down for viewing so their ipads uh -huh. so this coach actually has five ipads in it does. Wow. It so does. you've got you've got Crestron iPad in the front, in the bath, in the in the uh, bedroom, and in the entertainment bay outside, and then you've got each bunk has an iPad. Yes. Wow. And there's even there's some drawers tucked down under here. And the doors are actually both. So if you if you do have a closet exposed so there's a they they hinge and then they're air power to bring them together so this can be closet door right yes so and that's just to save that's to save space and get you want the opening large enough when it's bunks that you can actually get in so but you don't want to have doors that open and block off you know aisleways when you do that so sure yes yeah, just a combination of hinged and, and sliding I like that I love a good pocket door. But we like, you know, we like to keep the coach as open as possible. So, yeah, and uh, we talk about that. It's just a lot more, you know, it just feels a lot more spacious when those are left open, and that's <coughs> well, same, yeah. Look, we're standing the same, in. the same philosophy with this, with these double doors that come across. You're only gonna, you're only going to close them when you need privacy. So right. the rest of the time, you can leave it open. And if they're, especially with bunks, somebody needs to use the bathroom, but you'd like to get back and forth. This is what's unique about this floor plan. Is you can still get to the bedroom a lot of center aisle baths once you block off the shower or the toilet the your access to front and back has gone away so we have a question about the bunks you bet mm -hmm. can an adult fit in the bunk so the the question was can an adult fit in the bunk absolutely uh, our CFO is over six foot and I've seen him get into a bunk I'm just about six foot I think I may have shrunk a little over the years <laughs> but I'm gonna get into this bunk and show you um, that an adult can easily fit 
lots of room. Oh, this is nice. You got your iPad here. You look pretty comfortable. It is comfortable. Just close the door and I'm done. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice. So yes, uh, from from my visual lane in there, it looked like I had several inches at the end of the feet, um, and I'm six foot on uh, on a good day. We've done ladders also. We've had really small children, and it's a, it's a bit of a hike for a really small, you know, four or five, six year old. So we've done done ladder assemblies that remove to get to the upper bunk. Okay, that's a good question. Thank you for making that comment. Any other questions before we move into the bedroom? Oh, actually, I guess we should show the this beautiful. The shower's nice shower. on this one. It's really large. Uh, that's one of the features we wanted to incorporate. Because um, with bunks, we thought. You know, you might have a young child, and so the parents trying to, you know, uh, shower with the young child or something. Need a little bit bigger shower. Um, it's a really nice shower. We got the curved door, and with this bigger one, we put the rain shower in. So you got rain shower and this, right? Right. Okay. The rain showers has been really popular. People love the rain shower. It, it uh, it's a nice feature. And then our little our caddy shelf that we started like incorporating that. a couple of years ago for shampoos and soaps and different things. And here's that backsplash that's mm -hmm. been consistent throughout the coach. It lines up with the one going through the vanity. Yeah. This is a big shower. It is. It's uh, it was it was an air, it was a feature that we wanted to incorporate um, a little larger shower on this particular plan. It's been, yeah, it's been really well received. It's a great utilization of space. We, we talked about it earlier with, you know, you're not missing anything when you add the bunks. <laughs> There's so much room in this shower. You get the washer dryer. You get a bath, a full bath and a half. I love it. Well, there's three of us all standing. We're all standing in, in a space, room. So yeah. it's, it kind of shows, yeah, it'll accommodate, accommodate a few folks. Very nice. And of course, if you're going to be in a nice large shower, you've got the television to watch. That's so, right. You know, like we were talking about earlier, you don't want to miss that home run or. Uh, yeah, the sports guys appreciate it because yes. they they don't miss any plays while they're while they're taking a shower. So. And another thing we talked about was uh, you could have on this monitor or on this TV set up like an aquarium. You can. You could have it also set up as um, like a rolling uh, photo slideshow of your family and or if you're a photographer or if you've taken travel photos mm -hmm. and you want to archive them and put them up there you could always have the bathroom TV set up as kind of a photo slideshow we uh, we we tend to call them TVs but we're trying to transition people to call them displays displays because gotcha. it displays it's not it's not just TV because a lot of people say I don't really care that I have a TV in my bathroom but Knowing that they could have a slideshow or an aquarium or a fireplace or you know their favorite mountain scene or whatever it might sure. be, it just it, it could adds, be a display. Right, it just adds to the atmosphere of the coach. All and right. in this particular one, we even we've got our electrical hinge behind it. So, so that not, provides it's you also lots service of access. access. Yeah, to get to your electrical breakers, floor heat, inverter controls volume because with the TV we put a speaker there's a speaker there in the ceiling. Gotta have a speaker in your bathroom if you've right. got a if you've got a display in there. Exactly. See how I integrated the right technology or the right terminology? Display. <laughs> no, there's no TVs. It's all displays. 4K displays. Alright, here we are into the uh, bedroom. Uh, let's just start here. The Asco's made in Sweden. Washer dryer stacked up. Pretty standard on a marathon, correct? Mm -hmm. And um, there they are. Shirt closet over here. Yeah, we have a closet with our our marathon shoe bags. That's right. Lots of storage underneath here also. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty deep. Pretty deep drawers here. Good utilization of space. You know, you've got a you've got a little bit of space after these two. Well, you still have this right here. Gives you a little bit of drawer. And there's even a little oh, bit of that. little bit of storage there. Watch your watch, your wallet. Who knows what you could put down there? 
This one has the motorized bed and the bed is in the up position so you can see the... Provides you with about what another 12, 12 inches? inches. Mm -hmm. Good. And this is a king size bed. It's a true king width bed, yes. Wonderful. And it's custom. Is this a bamboo bed? I think our standard, unless a customer picks different, yes, it's not. It is. Bamboo laminated, laminated foam. I like this, uh, I like the linens, the linen choice in this coach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 49 inch curved screen. 49. This is straight, this is a flat screen. It's a but flat? It looks curved because we put it, the cabinet is curved. Gotcha. So okay. It, so it gives that appearance. It gives the, yes. All right. And it's a 4K feed in here also. Yes. Lots of uh, drawer space under the TV. You've got automatic blinds right here. We have the Roman shades, yes. So not so the, you do achieve storage up here and the large TV, large uh, display, if you will. And you still get to use some of the window. You still get the window with the... Uh it's the tip out window so a lot of customers like that window for ventilation yeah that's so they like the cross ventilation that'll open the window here and then there's a window behind the headboard that's got to be nice the and they'll just crack them open slightly and then they'll get they'll get that cross ventilation they really enjoy that good deal carpet which is pretty standard in the um bedroom uh it's a very plush of course we've got it covered with plastic as we are in here with our shoes but um, okay, let's talk about this rear half bath. I've the, the idea of covering the toilet is now. Correct me if I'm wrong here, Jay. Is it because from where you're out there, you don't want to be looking at a toilet? That's correct. So aesthetically, you want it to look better. Is that proper? It, that is where it originated from. Okay. And then we also took the opportunity. It's a nice padded seat. Yeah. So it, we call it a makeup. A, van, a, a toilet makeup cover. So, so I can sit here and do my hair. You can. Do my makeup, what have you. And it's all it's all removable. We've had we've had a customer too say, uh, uh, I like it, but I, I think I'll go without. So a couple of clamps, it pops off of there. That skirt is just Velcroed on. So if you need to clean, you can, you can get to things pretty quickly. So it's set up to remove easily and quickly for cleaning purposes. If you needed to, yes. Gotcha. One thing I like, when you're in a, a small utilization of space like this, where's your toilet paper roll? Boom, right there. Take a look at that. On the inside of that drawer, I, or that, that counter, or that uh, cabinet. I love that. Right. We, have, we get challenged with wall space to put bath accessories, so uh, got to be creative a lot of times That's and that it. was one spot that worked out really well for the for the toilet paper holder so one thing that I always like to show on a tour is the attention to detail of our wiring so now this is set up behind here for access for servicing yes okay everything is labeled in um, multiple locations every wire is labeled On the right hand side there you can see there's a there's a long what's called a wago strip with fuses and so one nice thing is if if a fuse happens to blow then our service our 24-hour service hotline can walk the customer through there's an actual indicator on each one of those fuses so when the indicator lights red it means the fuse is blown oh so the customer could replace a fuse that we could walk them through that and have them replace a fuse themselves um, to get whatever it was back up and running. And so this, um, you know, and you and I know this, but some, some of our viewers might not. Marathon coaches are set up so that they can be worked on uh, easily. The generator's on a slide out. The wiring is right here. Um, certain things like that are set up so that uh, if, it's, if it needs to be serviced, it can be accessed um, easily and efficiently. We think it's important when a customer has a coach in for service that I've heard stories of you know of other places where you know coaches in service for a month or two. We mm -hmm. want the customer. I mean, a lot of customers. This is their home, so right. we want to get them into the service department and out as quickly as possible. So the easier we make it to service things, uh, 
the faster they get in and out. And they do a lot of upgrades. And so a lot of that work, you know, they might have to pull some wires or do some things. Again, the more they can, the quicker they can get to all those components and serviceability, the faster they can get those remodels done and get them in and out. That's so a we good have point. a lot of customers, this is their home. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you can imagine going to your home and having some the, the repair technician says well you can come back in you know in a month and we'll be done fixing your house right it, it doesn't work out where so do well. I go exactly where do I go for a month so even these for instance there's panels when you pull these shelves off these panels remove to get to components behind them gotcha very nice and yes there is a safe back here and uh, I know uh, as engineers, you guys uh, get creative in where to put it. So it's never in the same place. And uh, so somewhere back here is a, is safe a safe. safe is in the bedroom. Safe's in the bedroom. That's excellent. All right, anything else back here before we move to the front of the coach? I think you pretty much hit it. We, uh, Should we, we check We up? usually put storage above the bed, yeah. which um, every little bit helps. So that's one thing that Marathon always has tried to do is get that I have a few customers who say I've, you've got plenty of storage other places I like the I like the look with it uh, they might run their headboard all the way up to the ceiling right because they, they like the look of a big headboard but uh, yeah the, the storage about the bed is a pretty much a standard for us I like that and our picture recesses that's another thing I think the oh yeah do really good we incorporate these these little niches for picture recesses and started to see them show up uh, here and there around the RV industry. It's a great way to, to show off some, a lot of customers, they tailor make, they have personalized photos. Um, we've done ones where the customers have actually taken the, I mean, they look, they're professional photos, they've taken them, we frame those up. So we integrate in. them into it mm -hmm. right away, that's great. Yeah, that is nice, not for many reasons, but you're not going to knock that frame off. <laughs> no. Well, and this, you know, the slide room comes right here. Right. So they're recessed. So yes, you can you can get the. You don't have to have large large gaps between the slide rooms. And gotcha. The walls. And I think we've got this also in uh, by the dinette too, we don't do. we? Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Before we move uh, outside to check out the bays, underneath uh, the storage bays, the entertainment bays, do we have any questions or comments that we should address? Chris and Lee say hello. Hey, Chris and Lee, thank you for watching, you guys. And Terry is ready to take over Dave Bass Bash's position when he retires. All right, I'll let Dave know. <laughs> Dave Dave's Bass. Dave's a young man. Dave's a young man, that's right. All right, let's uh, head on outside. I love the GPS pop-up. A nice way to hide your GPS system. Got the bread. Got the bread. Got the bread. Always gotta have something in your hands. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about uh, Let's talk about the uh, bays before we uh, talk about the paint. Well, I guess we could talk about the paint. It's a beautiful paint job. Well, here's something I think that's really cool that art, when you, the theme attention to detail, they took the stripe through, that's the side view camera. And so you can they see. They didn't avoid the camera, they, they didn't move the camera. They just put the stripe right through the camera. I mean, it would have been really easy to trying but that probably didn't get you know Pete probably said well I really need that stripe to go where it's at and Jay that's awesome thanks for pointing that out so I didn't notice that either and they that's paint, really cool and they paint around the corner into the, the door cracks so it goes into the door cracks so it's from any angle it's continuous that's great all right bay number one Storage bay. Storage all the way through. We uh, This year we recently upgraded to this luxury vinyl plank flooring and then uh, that same sort of yes. leather, leather looking vinyl on the walls. And it's 
been a really nice. It's a great look. Really easy to clean now. You almost just take your air hose and just blow oh, it yeah. out. Whereas before, with all the the trunk liner, it would be, it would tend to a lot of times is like like the loop on Velcro. It yes. grabs grabs little things. Any little and fuzz. Then dust dust gets in there. This has been really popular for yeah. It just makes the keeping the bait clean. A lot and we can put a slide out in here too, we right? We do, and that's super popular. We do that on most most customers when they take delivery. They they have some sort of special cargo a slide unit or might have a barbecue to mount or right. a, a refrigerator. A lot of times we do a barbecue on this one, right? We do. We like to keep them for our spec units. We just keep them open because we know customers have specific requests for different things. Sure. But we do everything from it has a cabinet and a barbecue and a refrigerator and an ice maker. We've done all kinds of crazy things. Microwaves. Put washer. We put the combo mat, combo unit washer dryers yes. over here. All right. And the, with the theme of serviceability, all the panels are velcro on to access electrical components. That was one thing in our previous models. The electrical boxes were exposed, so to, to take it up a notch, we added the covers. It's nice. Gives it a good finished look, but still has that access when you need it. And it only it took up about another half inch of room is all. Right. But it really dressed up the bay in a nice way. This this flooring is nice. It is actually commercial grade vinyl flooring, so mm. it's beautiful. Look and it goes well with this the, the, the vinyl side. We do have a couple, this is our brown package, and we have a, uh, I like, the, the, they came up with a phrase for the black, they call it the Dark Knight package. Dark Knight. Which is, okay. yeah, which is kind of cool. All right, so audio visual down here. Yes, sir. All right, I like the cabinetry for that. And of course, in the entertainment bay, you've got a 49-inch 4K Samsung. You've got the Zip D folding marathon chairs in their custom holder behind the TV, which slides out. That worked out well. That Those were going in a box that took up storage space in the other bays, and so we, we kind of tweaked the wall a little bit to provide right. just enough space to slip those chairs behind there, so. Yeah, it's a good spot got, for it. Got a spot where it wasn't being utilized before, so. You got iPad out here for all your Crestron uh, so give us a real quick overview of what the what the iPad Crestron um, tablet controls. It basically controls every every function in the coach, from climate control, lighting. Um, it controls all your audio, video. So instead of having all those remote controls, you can access you know the, the DVD players and the, the receivers and all that from the iPad. Awnings, awnings. Uh, yeah, it controls. There's a few items, like if you plugged in a lamp, currently it doesn't, if you plugged in a lamp, it wouldn't control the lamp. Right. But, uh... Because those are, those are a manual right. on and but off. But I say currently, because, right. you know, we're... We're getting there. You know, you've heard of the smart homes and the different yeah. things, you know, we're looking at that as well and, and looking to see what we can do. And then with the, with that control, it, it's, it's now on a smartphone, so you can operate those things from the smartphone. So anywhere you have, in the world that you have cell service, you can control the same same feature that's great flexibility well it's nice if if uh, you're keeping your coach climate controlled and you check the weather and you realize it's going to be hotter and you you, know, you pull up your phone and you just you know drop the temperature a little bit in your coach you can do that remotely which is pretty nice sure or customers with pets they leave you know they uh, they can access that camera we have a camera in the salon so yep. they can access the camera to see if their pets are doing okay so they can check from anywhere mm -hmm. With uh, with the salon camera not on the their iPhone, ever, not the pets ever misbehave, but no, uh, you can check the pets, make sure everything's okay there. That's so. great. Well, like Steve Martin says, want to check the time, don't want to do too long. <laughs> so, any uh, comments or questions as we're out here? Craig and his dad are watching in North Carolina. Welcome, welcome from North Carolina. That's that's awesome. That's and pretty then far away. wants to know if you can install a kegerator into one of the bays. There is nothing we've not done. There, I mean, we can do it, right? I don't know that we've done it here, but we could install a kegerator. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we've talked about it. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. Yeah, we've done. In fact, I'm working on a coach right now. They want an ice maker, 
So the, for the outside, for the outside, okay. ice maker, barbecue, um, and then a chest, chest refrigerator, freezer. Um, so yeah, a lot of entertainment down here that that people really like. And that's it, you know, at night with the TV and the great sound bar that's on here. And the, subwoofer behind that. Oh, that's panel, right. There is a subwoofer. sub. Yeah. Oh man, great sound. You've got the the ground lighting. You've got the, the awnings that come all the way out with the lighting on the awnings. It creates a great ambiance at night on this uh, curbside. All right, now we have another one. Yes. Um, Gerard says, please remind Mal I asked um, to show how quiet the generator is while running. Okay, that's probably something we're gonna hold for another show, but he's absolutely right. Jay, before we move on, let's get this guy an answer. To put it in layman's terms, we've talked about it quite often. The 20 kW generator that's on this coach. You've been with with Marathon how long? 29 years. 29 of our 33 years. So, in the engineering department, you guys have worked for years to make that compartment with the generator in it quiet. Can you describe how quiet it really is when the generator is running? Well, there's nothing like being in front of it and hearing it, but there's a lot of there's a lot of technology that goes into it. There's a special metal, there's special insulation, special isolation. The generator's installed on airbags because a lot of the sound, not only sound, it's vibration. So you have to really look at keeping the vibration down. Um, but most of the time, or I say most of the time, if you were out here, you and I would be having this conversation, right? And if we, if it was completely silent, you would hear it, but it doesn't impact to where you, it would be an objection. You know, it's so loud it, it, that you wouldn't, that you wouldn't be able to converse. So sure. it's, it's worked out really well. We've, uh, there's been a lot of, just like you said, a lot of years in going into trying to perfect it and, and keeping the serviceability. It's on a rollout. Absolutely. And it's on the airbags also, right? It is for the, the, the ride. And they're on a regulator, so they, they inflate themselves or deflate themselves, you know, as need be. As need be. Um, and we constantly are looking for, you know, new and better materials to for make sure. it even quieter. Sounds like Marathon. <laughs> and it's, and it's uh, on the other side, it's on the, the driver's side, so it's not even on the same side as your, as your entertainment area, so that puts it just even that much further away and that much quieter than it would be. Gotcha. It was, it was right here on the, on the, where you were trying to entertain. So. Okay. And now that's a Kohler K, uh, 20 kW? It's on this one, it may be the power tech. I okay. Think we made a switch here recently. Hey, Val, we have another one. Sure. Bill would like to know, is 1266 still available and is there space to put a washer and dryer? Okay. Yes, Bill, 1266 is still available and if you're interested, give me an email at malw at marathoncoach.com and I'll give you some extra details on it or give you a call back. Yes, it is available. And I mean, literally, they just got done with it, what, a few days ago? Last, uh, last week. Okay. Yeah, last week. I know our marketing team spent some significant time uh, basically photographing it, not only for brochures, but one thing that Marathon does is for archival reasons, every coach is unique. So we want to take uh, lots of photos and videos. And, and this video also is for archival reasons and to educate all of us on 1266. And yes, it does have a washer dryer right inside the bedroom, right between the um, full bath and the bedroom. So feel free to contact me if you need any more information. Okay, let's talk about this. I love the backlighting that we're doing in here. That we upgraded that this year. Um, having the plumbing visible is, is a marathon tradition and something that we we just kind of took it up another notch by doing the full the full acrylic doors and uh, the guys again you can see the, the pride and workmanship it's it's a beautiful. plumbing area but they they measure everything out they try and make sure everything is perfect so yeah when those lights come on you're looking at looking at it through the smoke doors that it looks yeah the smoke doors really, really really nice additional mood lighting for your exactly. plumbing exactly well let's go look let's go look at the other side because we can show off the generator we talked about that we're not going to get into the engine but it is a 
Volvo 500 horsepower engine. We were just talking about the colors, uh, kind of a burgundy brown. Okay, I like this. So, kept the laminate, the same laminate on the same other side. Same laminate as the other side, okay. And keeping that serviceability theme, we've got doors that hinge. And this panel actually, for service if you needed to, it, it's hinged, but customer wouldn't need, but see it even opens up. So if you need to service anything, it's really quick and easy. Everything and, is and, right there. And it's just, again, it's behind a door, but they make sure everything looks finished. And yeah, you've got laminate, tidy. you've got the flooring throughout, you've got either a painted surface in the back there. Very well finished. And this uh, Crestron interface right here can give you all the information that you would need from this from this bay including your levels of your tanks you can even do the awnings you can even do the awnings for this side from that Crestron interface it doesn't do everything that the iPad does but it provides the things for the, the systems the things that yeah. you would need on this side exactly. of the coach which most people want to know their tank levels so we, you know it's got tank levels and, and it's got your your power levels and things gotcha. like that on it so next bay is inter in inverters, right? Inverters. So you got two inverters in here. Right, inverters, there's our, our shore cord is behind the panel there. And Boy, talk about a nice finished bay. This, we just recently upgraded this bay. It was, it was okay before, but we, we wanted to tidy it up a little bit more. I like how this is, these are rounded, not squared. Right. Part of that is it helps with the wrapping. So oh. those curved surfaces, they actually heat that heat that vinyl and pull it around. It bonds and better. With the square corner eliminates seams. Nice. Absolutely. Yeah. Aesthetically, I think it looks it, better than a than a does. than a sharp 90. It does. All right. So back to the question about the generator. I believe this is a PowerTech. Yeah, this is a PowerTech generator. 20 kW and it's again on the rollouts and airbags and we put our air compressor to for our house system in there so they can air compressors can be quite noisy so yes. we put it in the in the quieted compartment so that so that, can, that controls like all the pocket doors yes. okay the slides there's that entry slide yes. the pocket doors there's our 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 drop down sewer hose door and all that but yeah, that's been big to put it in the in the quiet compartment so it can run and, and you won't know it's running either. Very nice. All right, and we don't need to we don't need to look at the the other two bays because that's the other side of the storage base. Let's walk around the front here. Walk watch out for the short port. Here again. As Jay pointed out earlier, we got the stripe going right over. That's so cool. It just amazes me that they can do that. Oh yeah. Just to make sure that it's continuous. And if you can get a shot of the entry stairs there's more of that backsplash. Fire extinguisher location right under there. A lot of people also use that for shoes. Shoes, yeah. For shoes. Dog, dog leash, mm -hmm. good for a dog leash. Uh, anything else you want to talk about on 1266? This is a beautiful coach. Oh, I think we just about did it all. Yeah, thank you so much for those of you that stuck with us. Any other questions or comments? We're good. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment right there on Facebook. Go to YouTube. It'll be up on YouTube in about 15 to 30 minutes. Um, email me at malw at marathoncoach.com. If I don't know 
the answer, which is highly likely. I will be accessing everybody in this building, including Jay, uh, because we've got a lot of experience in this building. You know, Jay's been here pretty much since uh, the very early years of Marathon Coach, and so his experience is vital and well appreciated. Thank you so much for hey, your time. My pleasure. You know, Jay does a lot of these uh, tours with us, and I think today's episode is an example of why we utilize him for these tours. Lots of experience, lots of knowledge, and, um, and you look good on camera, too. Nice. <laughs> You're going to make me blush. I know. <laughs> Marathon Mondays with Mal, it's always my pleasure. Uh, send in your comments or send me some emails, and we'll see you next Monday. Take care, you guys.